sorry. <laughs> Hey guys, Rebecca Gabby here with another great tutorial. Today we'll be discussing. Oh, shoot. Hey guys, Rebecca Gabby here to talk about how I got into robotics and what I like about Robot C and Robot Virtual Worlds. So, a few things about me. I first started getting into programming when I was eight. My dad introduced me to STEM programming and robotics. I used to think that programming and robotics and all that was really boring and that. It was just a bunch of electronics where you just sit down and code. But over the summer, I did some camps. My first camp, I was doing a robotics camp where we got to build our own robots and we had like a mini battle bots and we would do fun competitions and um, we got to bring our parents so they can see what we were doing. Then I went to my next camp, which was coding camp. So we got to do coding in code.org and it was really fun. We got to make, we got to do drawings and play fun games, make our character move. And my third camp, which was the last camp that I went to, we build, in the morning we were doing coding, we were doing, making our robot being able to go through a maze using its sensors and knowing when to turn around and when to stop. And for the afternoon, we would build the robots and we would, like, some of them you could use with your phone so that it can move and some of them sorted out colors or mine it sorted out um, Lego blocks but now after I've done all my camps and I've been doing some coding and doing a lot more in robotics I think it's really fun and it's interesting I think it's important too because I mean if we didn't have like if no one was interested in decoding and robotics then we wouldn't have phones or cameras or anything so that we could do mainly what we do now. I like robotics because I like to explore what the robot can do through code. Being able to work with my hands to build the robot and program the robot is what got me interested into robotics. I like using Robot C with RVW because I'm able to program Bex IQ robots and to see a simulation of what the robot would do in real life. Using Robot C to program Bex IQ robots is really cool because they have an easy API to understand and I can use the same robotic platform that my school uses. I want to be an encouragement and a role model to other young girls who are struggling to figure out if they are interested in STEM or not. Based on my personal experience, there are not a lot of girls at my school who are involved in STEM. Over the summer, we had a camp for girls with XIQ. But after I registered, they said that there was not enough girls that signed up for the camp, so they had to cancel it. I think that women who are in the professional STEM fields are our role models. I still think that the STEM field is dominated by men, but I'm really glad that there are more women who are inspiring young girls like me to be more involved in the STEM fields. So what am I currently working on? Well, since I'm not in my school's robotics team, I've been working on various challenges in the Robot Virtual World Challenger Pack and making tutorial videos. So what are my goals for this year? Well, I have many different goals, but I'll tell you my top five. Goal number one is to get all A's in school so I can stay in my advanced classes. Goal number two is to get accepted into my school's robotics team. Goal number three is to get my own Vex IQ kit this year. Goal number four is that in the summer of 2017, I want to get accepted and attend Clemson's All Girls Project Wise Camp. And finally, goal number five is to get 500 followers on both Instagram and Twitter and 100 subscribers on YouTube this year. Thanks guys for watching the interview with me, Reva Gabby. Be sure to look out for my next tutorial coming soon. I know we haven't been posting out my tutorials as fast as we used to, but that's only because I'm back in school and because we're trying to find a way to shorten my videos but still have them effective and exciting as they should be. Remember to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And for a bonus, here are some more of my boopers. And remember, girls can be engineers too. Bye! Hey guys, Robo Gabby here. I just wanted to show you my setup. So first, this is my dog, Charlie. He's 
he's a pit bull mix and he's super sweet. And then for my background of my wall, we have these really pretty pink and purple polka dot decals. Then we got this board that's like, you don't have to like use the tacks, you just stick it in there. So we have two pictures. That's me, my mom, and my dad when I think I was like four. And that's me, I think it was my birthday. And mm, Charlie. Over here we have my robot arm that we, I bought for with my Christmas money. And this is my blue water bottle. Um, this is my wireless keyboard and my mouse. And um, this is my monitor. And my computer's down there and has two little shelves. Um, I have these really pretty little lanterns and a stormtrooper. And my um, mouse pad is a pretty little butterfly. Say bye, Charlie. Bye. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and let me know how I did. And remember, girls can be un- and <laughs> Please remember to subscribe to my channel, give this video a th <laughs> Hey guys, we have a Gabby here too. <laughs> Austin, go away. Go away. Thank you, Oh, God. <laughs>